Welcome back to my channel, Hyacinth's Garden in beautiful Jamaica. Gardening is my therapy. At this time, I'm going to be repotting my some desert roses, um, or affectionately called desert rose. I have prepared my mix, which is um, potting mix from this bag, uh, orchid mix, orchid potting mix perlite and within this mix I added cinnamon and I'm going to use from our fertilizer slow release okay so I already prepared my potting mix with my um, potting mix and um, orchid mix I combined those together and I'm going to start the process. Okay. See, I have my pots already cleaned. I have washed, sanitized my pots with alcohol. Already prepared my plant. I took it from the original pot. It has very healthy roots. Healthy roots. See, and it's so, so big. It's huge. And I'm um, going to be potting this one, maybe in the deeper pot because it is so big. Okay? So let me switch that out. This, and I have to raise it up about, you know, a couple inches from where it was. I'm not going to prune it because I did cut it last year. Uh, but it's just now root bound and it needs. A new pot. Okay, so follow along with me. I already pot my desert rose. Get my pot. I'm gonna fill it up with soil. to repot your desert rose if you keep them in pots every two to three years depending on the size of the pot and how much they grow during the um, growing season so I repotted this in 2021 and it's coming close to the summer I'm gonna repot because I want it to do some growing for me and yeah this flowered last year in 2022 I had beautiful flowers coming off of my desert rose There we go. Yep. Tap it down a little bit. Press the soil a little bit. And I'm trying to straighten it. There we go. Check it. And see I raised it so some of the new, you can see what's new on it. You can see the new section of the desert rose is now exposed because it's going to be doing some growing and we don't want it to be too deep in the soil, okay? Not be too deep in the pot, okay? So, I tap it down a little bit. Now I'm gonna add my fertilizer. See, put it in. Put it away from the root. It's not gonna kill it, but it, you know, it can burn the root a little bit and slow the growth process. So, I'm putting it in away from the root. See, away from the root to the corner, then I'm going to get a little bit of soil, cover it. There we go. See, I had prepared it ahead of time, and now shake it down. Shake it, shake it, shake it, and it's firm, firm in the pot. See, that one is ready to go. Right over here to the side. Put this one down. See? That one is ready. Just need to clean up my pot on the outside a little bit. So I have a second one that I'm going to repot so you can see me do a second one. And the 
fill this pot with soil. My soil is in here. Okay. Get my soil. Put it in. Fill it up with soil. Well, not quite full. What us, you know, high up because we don't want them to be too deep. So that is a good mixture. Smells so good with the cinnamon. Seem like, smell like I'm cooking. Now, get my desert rose, which is already cleaned. See, I rinse the roots and I trimmed up the roots that's not necessary because they're not going to do anything. So now that I um, trim the roots, I'm going to sprinkle a bit of my cinnamon just to cover the wound. It's like, a, you know, you get a, a, a surgery. Okay, so you got to do something to it. And now I'm setting it in the pot. So it doesn't need to be deep. In the pot. There we go. So I'm sitting right here. Lots of cinnamon. It's like this little girl it looks like le like feet. See? It's like somebody sitting down. Okay, so adding this with soil. Adding it with soil. Okay, there we go sitting down I raised it now touch more cinnamon and I'm gonna be putting fertilizer that's my coat so I put fertilizer fertilizer then I cover with soil cover with soil Tuck it, tuck it, so the root can grab and establish itself. There we go. It's good. That's good to go. So I have two that's ready. Put it there. And then I have a third that I'm going to take out the pot so you can see what I did with, with my first. See? So in this pot, pot is crystallized, so it's somewhat root bound. So out the pot. This is what it looks like when I took it out the pot. So this is not good soil. It's not good. Okay. Not good soil. See? Whoops. Came right off as I picked it up. But I just wanted to show you that it's soil. Not good. See? So can't use the soil anymore. There we go. And pull all these out. There we go. See? That's what I'm doing. So it has good L2 roots. And I'm going to trim the ones off. That's no good. Like these. These roots are not going to do anything for you. So we trim those away and try to get as much of that soil off as possible and anything that was incorporated. So there we go, clean it up and I'm going to rinse. Get this soil away. Oh good. So see, that's it. Put it aside. And um, this is what it looks like. I'm going to rinse it. After the rinse, you can tell that there is still beautiful roots. Mm -hmm. I trim them up a little bit, and they are good to go. Mm -hmm. Good, nice roots. Mm -hmm. Right, so this one I will pot a little later on. But in the meantime, I want to show you my beautiful, beautiful fern that I potted. 
and this will be going on my balcony and this is a very young monstera you see it's still looking good it's gonna grow and get all get lots of holes and it will be great so here are my desert rose see I repotted them and hopefully they will bloom this year and I will show you the beautiful blooms that they gave me last year so so this was my project for this morning and thank you very much for watching Gardening is my therapy. I hope you like my video. If you do like my video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.